it. Yay. 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 We have a special guest today, Angela. Say hi. Hello. Angela is here with Make-A-Wish. She's making a wish. I am. She's checking it twice. I'm Jewish. I know that's not how that goes. <laughs> First, we have a Facebook banner photo. Ooh. Right here. Look at that. Yay. Ooh. I want to learn a little bit about Angela. We need to learn a little bit about Angela. Where are yeah. you from, Angela? I am from Miami, Florida. What's mm. it like? Hot. How does uh -huh. it smell over there? Humid. How does oh. it feel? Humid. <laughs> <laughs> if it's you could give Miami, Florida a color, Oh, I like this. What color would you give it? Like blue green? Oh, oh okay. okay. I like that. I would have said flesh. Is it pretty? Is it pretty at least? It is. Actually. It is pretty. I yeah. hear when you live in Florida, you have a special knife to cut the atmosphere. That's and true. Spread it actually, a little to get it's, a little yeah. in my purse. Oh, oh, I want to see you later. Uh, <laughs> on behalf of SourceFed, thank you for Florida because it gives yes. us half it of our stories. It gives us half of uh, yeah. our stories. You're welcome. And yeah. I'm so sorry. Of I'm so sorry. No, don't <laughs> apologize. You can't apologize. And on behalf of SourceFed and the nation and everyone, that's a lot we, we want you. We're very happy to have you here. Yeah. yeah welcome. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. I'm oh, also happy to rub it in my friend's face. Yeah. Oh, Go ahead, do take that, Damien. Friend? Yeah, Damien, yeah. I'm like this, you... sitting with Angela, having a great yeah. time. Damien, and where are you? In your pajamas in your room, being yeah. dumb? We have hot water <laughs> here. I think you nailed it. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, Damien, we're friends. Yeah, yeah definitely. Who's favorite? your favorite house right now? Tell me. Jurassic Who's your favorite house? Who's your favorite house? No, me. just kidding. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Okay, so J.K. Rowling outraged Harry Potter fans. By saying that uh, Harry and Hermione probably should have ended up together mm. instead of Hermione she, and Ron. I never read the books. I watched a couple of the movies, mm -hmm. but I always thought that Hermione and Harry were going to get together. They seem right? like the two that's central what, male that's and what female. A lot of people exactly. Said, yeah, actually. a lot of people said that. Like that but, didn't read the books. They yeah. didn't read the books. They're yeah. so like, oh, Harry. Wait, Hermione. so you think it's you want to keep it the way it is? You like Hermione well, with the redheaded weirdo? Well, she already wrote it. Really... That's what I was thinking too. I was like, it. you made she that universe. That's biased. But what, as you were reading it, were you hoping that Harry would get together with Hermione, or what not, were you hoping? Not really. I always kind of saw them as just best friends. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Friends zone, like, huh? You don't have well, to be no. together. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> friend zone's it's fine. Like... I did it a lot in high school. It was okay. It's great. Steve is well versed in the friend zone. Yeah, hung out with a lot of really super pretty British girls that. Would be great relationship. Oh, they were like, oh, Steve, you're so cute. Yeah. Someday you're going to make someone very happy. Yeah. Not today, Not but someday. <laughs> what do you think has been some of the best written love stories? Of all time. Uh, uh, Twilight? Oh, no. No, oh, not no. Twilight. <laughs> Benjamin Zero. Franklin, Time Traveler. <laughs> yeah, that probably that was the best love story well, of all time. Here's a question. Are Ben and Abe ever going to get together? Oh, oh I don't know. That's a question for the ages. Yeah, Casey of G <laughs> says, the opening sequence of Up, best love story <gasps> ever. Oh, oh yeah. Really and it is. barely had dialogue. Yeah, I know. Pixar oh, no. is great in doing the, I'm going to tell you a story that's going to make you sad without using any words. Yeah, yeah. they're really so is. good at that. It's just the music, tee -tee -tee -tee. dude. That's Michael that Giacchino, and can I tell you what? I went to a Lost event where he played. Uh, Giacchino had an orchestra there. They played Lost music, and then towards the end, they played the Up music, and I was like, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> David Guidry says, "Legend of the Seeker." Richard and Kaylin, they kind of had that forbidden love kind of thing, but still loved each other above all else. What the I hell don't is know. Legend of the Seeker? Is that the movie about the owls? What? Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the Guardians of Gahul. I'm not ashamed to say that I actually read those books, The Guardians of Gahul. Really? How are they? They're about owls, um, <laughs> and they're like actually like the really night. dumb. And oh, really? Like, everyone, really? Everyone thinks Poor they're super smart. Well, you want to know why? That's kind of why because I like them. They're just Tootsie Pops told us that That's owls true. were wise. Oh, yeah. I had a Beanie <laughs> Baby that had an owl that had a graduation. Maybe they are dumb because it's the only animal that's ever had to go to college. Yep. You know what, Angela? <laughs> I want you to be here uh, for comment commentary all the time, and I want Ross to sit there because when you turn that way, you Ross's see me through face, the glasses? No, just his mouth, oh. and it's super <laughs> huge <laughs> through the glasses. It's the best. Just... I, I read the book Aragon. And oh, oh, the dragon yeah. thing. And yeah, I loved good. that series when I was a kid. And I read it in like, I read it so quickly. I remember I was on like page 75, like 20 minutes in. And then I saw the movie, and then I almost cried because it was so bad. Mm -hmm. Oh no, do you hate that? Can we just do it like a real quick PSA? Hollywood, if you're listening, Angela oh. here <laughs> is part of the general audience here. And I just gotta say, I mean, don't ruin good books with yeah. a stupid movie. Stop. Right? Yeah. Percy Jack Jackson, oh what else? Aragon, Aragon. Uh, The Bridge Over River Kwai. Miranda Kay says, Chandler and Monica, Chandler and Monica. Oh! Yeah. I get it. That is one couple that you did not see coming, and then when it I happened, you were like, 
I love wow, that's okay. Perfect. You like friends? Perfect? I love friends. Yeah. I love friends. I like having friends. Oh, oh that's true. Yeah. Yeah. They showed it like five o'clock in Miami. Mm-hmm. I sit there, I'm like, oh, I have homework, but I have friends. <laughs> I like never got into friends. I think it was like, I don't know, it seemed too yuppie to me. But oh. I feel like they're, now that I'm at like it. Like a bunch of privileged 20 somethings <laughs> living in New York City. That would be Gossip Girl. Yeah. That yeah. Would be gossip girl. Oh, I'm going to switch with you and I'm going to be like, this is unfathomable that a chef. Monica's a chef and she has that kind of apartment in Manhattan. Manhattan. You've got to be kidding me. Don't no. you rent control. Yes. Her granny. Oh, 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 Friends, I'm sorry knowledge. I ever doubted you. They can explain why that apartment uh, was affordable by a chef in New York, then why can't you explain uh, what's up with the island, J.J.? Yes, hey, I was what thinking about going on? in purgatory. There's a court can't that just be an actual out, island. And then all Don't of a sudden, all stuff Make it some weird dies? metaphor for what's why? going on. It doesn't Give make any sense. Give us some answers. There's a pole around a, a, a smoke monster. And then, dude, what was the smoke Star-wise. monster? We don't know. Was it like magnetic... Powder? Was Starlight. the island yeah. rent controlled? Give us that. <laughs> Definitely. What happened to Walt? <laughs> okay, cyborg cockroaches. Ah! Yeah! Where? I don't. Well, what would Here. your what would your cyborg bug sidekick be? Ah! Oh. I'm sorry. Such a I, I did that question. That was my That's question. That's a great question. Specifically, it is I was sure. Like, it's a great question. I want a cyborg bug sidekick. That's the only thing <laughs> I wanted to do. Wait, I want that. I want, but not a cockroach. I want a caterpillar. I've decided because the inching across would be like, <laughs> like the comedy between you and the co- like caterpillar as you sure. inching. If you were like, let's go. <laughs> Just yeah. come on, Henry. Move it. And he's like, I'm sorry. I want the one that rolls poop around, because then we could, it could roll around a big old poop, and then it could scare people. That's a bug? Is that a, is that a, a, yeah, a dung beetle. Dung beetle? Oh. oh. Why do you know that off the top of your I'm head? I'm sorry. I like to watch the National Geographic and the Discovery <laughs> it's Channel. There's also Steve's oh. spirit animal. I like oh, to watch the beetle. Discovery Channel, where entertaining programs are on constantly, 24-7, discovery.com. <laughs> Let's check if he has a nosebleed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what yeah. is your sidekick cook sound? Like a praying mantis. Those oh, oh really? Yeah, cool. praying mantis. Yeah, are that's awesome. solid. Then and it also... can eat the heads of your enemies. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, in Miami, are they bigger? Because I feel like everything, like bugs and stuff, is bigger in Miami. Yeah, no, that's we're actually, Texas. our mayor's a bug. Oh, yeah. I wasn't supposed to tell you that. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> that's a Florida secret. How big are they out there? Like this? Where am I? They're actually about like like your size. Oh! 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 Cody 131 Coops says a giant cyborg ant. That way he could carry like 3,000 mm-hmm. times his regular weight. He'd lift a bus full of children. What are you doing with a bus, bus full, full of children? children. Yeah. Hopefully you're saving I hope them. I'm saving them. Yeah, that's the idea. I well, think that's the idea. Unless the ant wants to eat the bus well, full of children. Hello, <laughs> I'm your cyborg ant friend. <laughs> Can I have oh, no. a bus full of children? That I feel Woody like my Allen. dog would talk like that. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of dog okay. do you have? Yeah. What, okay, I have two dogs, and uh, one of them is like a golden retriever, and she's huge, uh, and she's kind of dumb. Aren't golden retrievers kind of dumb? They're yeah, like, I think they're, they're supposed they're to be smart, but she's she's like really goofy. But hey, really put happy, a graduation yeah. cap on. It works for hours. <laughs> yeah. Masters Oracle oh, says spiders can get almost anywhere and can be very stealthy. So some smallish. Known to be harmless spider. Are, oh, are that's they so, more okay. poisonous the smaller they yeah. get? Yeah, they yeah. Totally are. I heard a rumor, and I've also heard that this isn't true, so I'm going to share it. Daddy long legs are the most poisonous spider, yet their teeth are so fragile that they can't break the skin. I think it's their mouth. You know so what? Small. I know oh. of one even more poisonous: the mommy short legs. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mommy short legs sounds like a brand of pastry I would buy. So they can have baby meh legs. <laughs> <laughs> Moses Torescano, I'm sorry, your name. Uh, no, we do I'd, it every time. Yep. <laughs> I'd go with the rhino beetle because it's about as close a, to a triceratops as you can get. Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. If you make I'll a giant it. cyborg rhino beetle, you're pretty much yeah, riding yeah, around on done. a triceratops. You're good. Yeah, you pretty much are. You're set. But how would you control him? Why with would the, you need to? You uh, oh. saddle it. Maybe he's like your muscle. Like he's there the guy that's like, if you don't get with me, giant rhino beetles gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic bread at Subway! Oh, no! Uh, apparently Subway agrees to stop using gross chemicals in their bread, mm-hmm. and now what about the rest of their food, we asked in the description, and the question was, 
Do you think this is a big deal or not that there might know. be rubber in your bread? <laughs> there might be rubber. These things, Steve, you walk the subway every day. I do. Yeah. I love it. I love eating my he subway. Loves the subway. And um, I even ate yeah. a subway sandwich in this video. That you continue uh, to eat. Even that I continue to because, eat yeah. regardless. Well, they of the, took the plastic out of it, right? Or is that no. not going into effect? No. no not I had yet. real weird poops this morning. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's weird because in the corner it said made in Taiwan down at the bottom. Right in the really corner of the bread. It just yeah. No, in my poop. Oh, okay. The, the rubber stamp <laughs> I feel like you sealed look it. Into that. Maybe yeah, I, I, I should. I want to get that looked at. I feel like here's the thing. I eat a lot of things that mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't want to know what's in this. Mm -hmm. Like I think we could, like Cheeto hot, dust. Hot dogs. Yes. Hot dogs. I, oh my god. I died of, oh, no, I don't want to know. No, really? you are right because okay. <laughs> hot dogs. It, it's like it's literally. I think if you look in the ingredients, one of them is just variety meats. Yeah. Ah! And it's like, that could be nose. <laughs> oh, no, I can't, but you still eat the hot dog, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course yeah. you do. A dog Corn on dog a on a stick mm -hmm. is my favorite. Hot dog on a stick is just a wiener on a stick. Well, no, but hot dog on a stick is a corn dog. Oh, is that what hot is dog it? on a stick is? Yeah. That's exactly what that is. Yeah. <laughs> but what, well, why like is it called a corn dog cause... on a stick then? Because big corn didn't want to be associated with ah, it. Ah, big corn. Uh, <laughs> dangerous. Yeah. All right, Emily Groshi, or Gross, <laughs> Says Grace. 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 This kinda makes says this kinda makes me want to puke. Our family tradition when I was younger was Subway Saturday, and we'd all get a Subway sandwich and take it to the park oh. for a family picnic oh. for years. Every Emily. Saturday. I was eating a chemical found in rubber. Let me go barf now. Lady, what? I don't even know if you know the kind of things you put in your body, probably. <laughs> I know. Is it like mar margarine butter or something? Like yeah. fake butter, like one ingredient away from being plastic? It's like I think one. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Really? It is. It's, yeah. I think it's Red Bull has some gross stuff in it, too. There's a it? lot of stuff that has gross stuff in it. Yeah, like, I, I think eat. taurine. Most processed foods are gross. Yeah. yeah. And delicious. <laughs> <laughs> There's pictures of a McDonald's hamburger that's been sitting yeah. on a counter for oh, yeah. four the, years. Yeah. No Going mold. Well, I don't know if this whatsoever. was a rumor or not. Uh, but they did say that McDonald's hamburgers had like formaldehyde in it or something. Oh, yeah, like some of the fries. I'm sure it did. But again, like, is it gonna stop me from driving through <laughs> no, Del Taco in the middle of the night? Probably, Probably not. not. They're gonna be like handing it to me. It's gonna get to the point where people are gonna sue so much that they're gonna be like, here's your Taco Bell taco, just so you know, there's a blatant amount of chemicals in there. And yeah. I'm like, fantastic. Blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah. Is there, blah, is there blah, tomatoes blah. as well? Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, there's those super health food advocates out there that are laughing at us going like, ha ha, your quality of life sucks. But you know what? You're eating paper, bro. And you're eating <laughs> things that don't taste good. So why don't you enjoy your tasteless life? It's not even That's like, not true, actually. It's not I even like okay. eating paper, it's like like a lot of the stuff they cook is good. Like my friend, my friend's mom is like really into like all the organic and all mm -hmm. that, and it tastes really good, but it's just so much work. It's yeah. so, that's exactly so also it. super expensive. Too, super right? expensive. It's my sister is one of those. So my sister is in law is like very much, but she's in the kitchen twenty. Like as she's cleaning up breakfast, she's like, let's start all the lunch. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I know. Well, journey. I wanted. It. I was yeah. thinking about getting a food processor, yeah. like one of those like machines where you can throw like a whole orange in, peel and all, and get <laughs> a delicious <laughs> drink out of it. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking. This sounds amazing. Like my friend has one. He makes like hummus, and he can make oh. like you can even make ice cream with it. And, oh. it, and it moves so fast that it can even heat yeah, soup. Yeah, soup. I know. Yeah. Right, but. The cleanup is a son of a bitch, apparently. Oh, yeah. And that's what makes it the worst thing in the world. And also, yeah. you're buying fruit and fresh stuff constantly, yeah. and it goes bad quickly. Yeah. There's just no winning in I this like health food war. <laughs> the moral of the story is that we're all like, just keep eating that crappy stuff. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the fact remains is that it's so much easier than instead of going to the grocery store uh -huh. and picking some fresh fruit and filling that basket full of delicious, good for you products. Oh no. It's way easier yeah. to get in your car, sit on your butt, and go through the drive through at McDonald's and get delicious This Big is Mac like sandwich. the best TED talk I've ever yeah. had. <laughs> Thank you. It's all about ease of access, it's yeah. all about ease. And there's an app for that. Is there an app for that? I don't know. <laughs> Starwipe. Star yeah. Aha, uh -huh. not in Europe or the UK. Oh my god. Azodicarbamide. Nice. Ooh. Nailed it. Or E927. Nailed that one too. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's banned for use as a Nailed food it. additive here. Yeah. yeah. This is one thing That's that America, heard. like the FDA will let anything in there. But in like Europe, they're like, no, you can't poison our people. Yeah. Yeah. Europe is like, there's a lot of face products that I use that are apparently banned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. What a weird uh, mixed up advocacy program this has been. I know, it really yeah. does. <laughs> Just so you know, get your cyborg bug like uh -huh. underway. Yeah. Figure that out. 
and then mm -hmm. make sure you eat healthy, but only if you want to. Only if you have the time or energy. Time or, energy. <laughs> or, energy. Money. or if you're not lazy at all. Mm -hmm. The more you know. Uh -huh. And that's been it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for Thank Common you. Commentary. Yay. Thank you, Angela, for joining Thank you. us. Aren't she great, you. guys? She's I know. Great. Isn't she wonderful? Angela, you're my new best friend. No, oh, don't. No, oh, hold I'm on. So no, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so about sorry. This. Yeah. Oh. No. Don't oh. don't no, let him no, walk eyes no, with you. No, 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 no Dude, I am a good best friend. No, I, I, we go through McDonald's away. every day, no, pretty much. We walk to Subway. I got a lot of cool toys and video games. Hey, I got PS4. Oh, oh. Don't let him tempt you. You can run whenever you want. I'll block him. What do we? What do we got? We got coming up this weekend. We got a lot of stuff. We got bloopers. I'm sure. We have five things you missed this week. Again, we have a lot of different fun with that. Actually, and over on the Nerd Channel, we got like a movie show coming up where Trish and I go see the Lego Movie. Oh, the Lego Movie! Very excited to see that. It's weird because a lot of people are saying like, I don't know, but it looks amazing. The cast me. is phenomenal. The cast, the cast is, is phenomenal. Great. Phil Lord and that other guy, I can't remember his name. Will Ferrell. I just no, really hope that they on, don't uh, ruin it because I read the Lego movie book. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I don't want it that just, to It happen. had so much detail. Yeah. It had so much detail. And right? the love story oh, alone oh between God. Batman and the and Lego. Yeah. Uh, Batman <laughs> and the Lego. <laughs> you have to accept that love. <laughs> uh, well, awesome. We, yes. We, we yeah. love Thank you so much for coming. All right. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Now, Angela, I want to take you to this great pizza place here. Don't let us. It's, it's not it's an really actual good. pizza I place. Also, I have a whole Lego uh, a Shire thing it. that I haven't built yet. You, it would be really fun know, if we could like have, build the Lego set. I made plans with Lee. Oh, yeah. oh that's Ooh. tough to hear, isn't it? Oh, it's so tough. I'm just, it's so tough to I hear. I get it. <laughs>